Attention gamers! It's insane to think back on how different ranked League of Legends was in 2014 when I first started playing the game. For starters there was no all-you-can-eat buffet of Chinese bot farmed $2 level 30 unranked accounts that you could buy like they were disposable worthless packs of proverbial gum that people bought chewed on for a bit then threw out and got a new piece when it got stale, no the level process to 30 was gruelingly long, to the point where it took me and my butt buddy Heisman months before we were even able to queue ranked, and this long journey almost made the experience of ranked seem so much more sacred but at the same time scary. As if you just finished the No Nut November and now you were on your way to Jeffrey Epstein's famous sex island with no clue what to expect. Your first ranked games were so intense and every single match was played like it was your last, to this day I still remember my first ranked game ever I played Fiora Top. Mostly because her old alt was probably the first unknown iteration of 200 years long before that theory was studied and boasted about, and I was against a Jace who I had convinced myself was better than me simply because I built him up to be an experienced ranked playing veteran in my head, but I played smart. I remember playing so carefully, thinking about how every action could potentially be detrimental to my team's chances of winning the game, and I wasn't going to risk anything. Every game I could feel my heart beating through my sweaty pubeless ball sack as all 10 players were invested in playing their best champs to the best of their abilities, because the rank on the one and only account they had, meant something, it was like social status. At that point in my life the entirety of how I valued myself consisted of how many pull-ups I could do, my League of Legends rank, and how many chicken McNuggets I could eat in one sitting as if that was a measure of raw masculinity. But those pre-diabetic times seem so distant now and so dramatically different from the current landscape of ranked. Now in ranked you get the new new support who is admittedly playing on a friggin trackpad spending more time dancing and emoting than anything else to the point where you have developed PTSD just from hearing that dumb emote sound. So basically a 4v5 and in 2014 a rare but guaranteed loss until you consider the other team as this failed abortion first timing a champ that they clearly have never even read the ability run down for her, creating quite the counter force to our trackpad Nunu, which is tilting their brand into a state where he was spending more time typing than trying all while their jungle was more concerned with how he will plug his stream in the post game lobby than I don't know, not sucking ass? So in the following ranked game that took place in an ELO which is supposedly the top 15 to 20% of players you are about to see how the integrity of your average ranked League of Legends game has completely died and how a player who knew how respected the system of ranked once was, reacts to the new variants of stupidity toxicity and carelessness that are responsible for its death. Alright so this shitfest of a game starts and you may notice my feeding fluff riding companion is missing and that's because he decided to stop for a second in the hallway to let one more fart out before showing up to work fashionably late as if he just wanted people to notice his entrance, to which he gets in position fist bumps me and then starts rolling the bitch ball straight past any sense of logic as he hits zero targets and doubles down on his decision to fight so I'm over here thinking yay can't wait for this to be my reality for the next 20 minutes, as I'm starting to worry why he typed ELO terrorist Nunu in chat earlier. So then we see the chromosome deficient English McMuffin playing this Nunu stop for a sec hit a quick pump up song then fire up the feed roller once again putting me in an awkward spot as I watch him somehow manage to steer away from impact as if that were the goal. This presents the dilemma of do I heal this deplorable dipshit but after seeing him plop a pink then stop moving I decide against it as I remind you all that this indeed was a ranked game in low plat elo and while his inting is about as subtle as a blue dick on a pig I opt to just hit him with the question mark knowing that feeders are fragile beings, so saying any more or flaming could unlock his full potential and I'm clinging to a glimmer of hope knowing that their top laner was rocking and I really I don't know what this champ does vibe as she dashes around like a startled animal before making the mistake of flashing into a gerbil with a boomerang bone, which was a fair looking attempt so I didn't think much of it but what happened next was what rushed a bit of hopefulness blood to the tip of my wiener when I saw her immediately TP back to the side of her flashy failure saying I don't give a shit if it's the sex ant with the long spiked tails or the hamster, one of you is giving me some cash but she forgot that Nar typically goes through puberty around this time which ended up becoming her downfall. 
but we still had our own problems to deal with in the form of a yelping trumpet playing toddler riding an obese yeti. That said the bondage bug was in the area so I was all for hearing the feeding theme song in this case. Well until he hungry hippoed every possible ability they enemies had but to my surprise he must have evolved because he backed out only for Eve to come in for a bit of sloppy seconds. Then just when any logical human being would deem the gank over, out comes the dumbass disco ball rolling back into danger which baits me and sexy Scorpia back into battle which does get Jinx a bit wet this time but due to the unpredictable as shit nature of his timing it's not enough for us to capitalize. So we got some poke yeah but Eve is like I need to go back to my forest genocide and I'm like roger that captain and right when I think the most uncoordinated gank ever is finally over, I hear it again. This left me in a shitty spot where I had to shit or get off the pot so I chose to get shit on in exchange for at least some golden reward for dealing with this support who donated his brain to science before he was done using it, but I'm still on the fence trying to determine if he is intentionally trolling or just clinically unintelligent so after he deems that a good job I try my best to not trigger whatever not trying looks like on this 8, to which he puts an end to all of our guessing by confessing that he is indeed playing ranked League of Legends, on a trackpad, which also explains why he was hovering Yumi before she got banned. Checking in on Nar's interactions with the ATM that he kept withdrawing cash from all game we see him politely introduce Aurelia, to Wall before whipping a small single family home at her stunned ass for the kill as you see their jungler come in being all like don't look at me I didn't see shit that's a joke because Lee is blind everyone laugh ha okay but before Nar came off the roid cycle our favorite antagonist was back and just begging to be shoved away from safety and I guess drawing a large diamond was on her bucket list so congrats to her checking that sucker off before dying I guess. So needless to say someone is already giving up completely oblivious to the fact that our support has 6 total IQ and is playing on an etch a sketch but luckily he escapes this time one bard's fart from fountain and hey the boys are in town. Boys being an American Sam Articuno and a bug from the local brothel so I do what my malnourished ass can do which admittedly is not much but I was able to learn firsthand that biologically you will not find blue balls neither on scantily clad scorpions nor on giga patriotic hawks as they elegantly provide visuals to the soapbox commentary that brand is providing as if we are gonna get all sympathetic and buy that whining shitter Kleenex as the only one to even reply as our team's MVP most valuable piece of shit Nunu. So I head back to base on my own accord so that I can buy items that will prevent me from forcefully being fountain later to which the walking 9 month aftermath of a frat house fuckfest deems it a good time to do a jungle less dragon because he can nibble that thing's ass and call it a smite which would be okay if the two of them didn't practically shine the bat symbol in the sky telling every enemy that they need assistance at dragon so to absolutely no one's surprise all the red rovers show up perfect time to freaking dance I guess so bird turns dead Nunu remains defective they get dragon I get there too late our jungle is still in Bumblefuck's Kalamazoo but it's cool because she was actually up there on business. <sighs> 12 seconds later. This leaves me in the downward dog position that I've been in so many times as an ADC so I know I have to make quick work out of these Gryffindor babies or Div and I will be and it's like I can predict the future because look at these sad shitters trying to do just that only to come up shorter than the list of people in this world who don't think this Nunu is a dumb shit. To which our cancer commentator is continuing to vent to us about the fact that this Aurelia isn't quite coming to an understanding of why you should not feed a gremlin after midnight. This brings us to the scene from the intro that I would like to provide some additional insight into as Nunu is doing another no-no which is spreading his stupidity around the rift. He has a bit of a cuck heads collision and oh hey look it's brand so nice to put a face to the endless whining bitch remarks in chat. Anyways after some deep thought our space grove dumb shit decides the best use of his scanner time is to dance before dropping a pink, taking one slap at the ward and positioning in the shrubs for pending greatness. A quick dance to hype up as literal World War 3 is going on right next to him and then quite the prediction ult completely annihilates absolutely no one before he gets behind the wheel again to film another commercial for why texting while driving is bad. 
Luckily a super elegant flash saves his life and allows him to continue the master plan of rift domination as he pissy plants into danger and then deems AFK auto attacking a pink ward the appropriate measure to take in this Anaplat elo game as a reminder for those who might have forgotten based off of what their eyeballs have witnessed. But it turns out I think we just haven't read the MOBA fire guide that says when in danger just stand still right clicking is the best strategy because that's what everyone was doing. To which Brand is still acting like he's the only one on planet Earth who has ever gotten a bad teammate so Anivia is just like bro if I wanted to hear from an asshole I'd fart and I'm down here like oh shit this is about to be ugly as I'm desperately pinging for our full health fed Eve to help but I guess she'd rather satisfy her fetish of watching something get ripped to shreds right in front of her like it's a fucking Discovery Channel nature documentary so yeah I get put in a black and white screen timeout which gives me some time to summarize what we have seen so far. And you may think that the circumstances up until this point in the bot lane will leave me useless for the rest of the game but I assure you some advice from Patrick Starfish was all that I needed. <laughs> you know what the problem is? What? You got it set to M for Mini, when it should be set to W for Wumbo! <laughs> I then rush straight to mid to 1 take out a tower and 2 show how a 1 and 9 Aurelia who is 2 levels behind me can still almost take me out in the presence of 2 teammates as you see no no enter at the end. And his post fight ritual consists of overstaying and then forgetting if Brand's W is the one that stuns him or not and we are all like no that's his Q and he's like oh well then I think this calls for a dance. And you know what happens when he starts dancing. Anyways we catch the glowing glove sonic shitter rubbing one out in the bush to which he gets embarrassed and runs away but like a stepsister in today's confusing sexual fantasy landscape I finish him off myself. This allows us to siege their base which is an invitation for Helen Keller here to roll a small ball straight into a wall and then channel what is probably the best ult she's ever done to date before going down. Then of all people the Nunu is the one that starts flaming which is honestly cute and hilarious at the same time and while I'm low and looking to reset. I get a courtesy call that there is nothing stopping this moron's pre-made decision to go and leaving me with no option other than to try and make the most out of this candy ass brainless chaos so I wait in my corner for the right time and then you already know. Bumbo. If that sound gives me PTSD I am going to make sure it gives all of you it as well but in the theme of overusing a joke. Bumbo. Bumbo. And while I thought the third Wumbo was the charm of getting me out of this just awful experience I didn't have the front line nor enough subordinate midgets to end so I kite back doing my best to keep them off until everyone gets the hint that we should back out, while well, everyone except Mr. Wanna build a snowman who comes in hotter than a spoon at a heroin addict's house with yet another stellar performance which long story short gets all of us killed all while Mr. Oblivious Brand is complaining about 13 deaths when we have an Owen 12 Nunu playing League on a Game Boy Color over here. That said stupid shitter snowball bowling attempt number 475 actually turned out to be okay because he ended up hitting debonair dipshit the whining flamer no brand pun intended so everyone clap in the comments for Nunu. Anyways three of them got the charades card that red top lane circle jerk which leaves powder in a precarious position so I inform her of my right clicks raw power then brand bitches a bit more. I push R to make him shut the hell up because all chat isn't your therapist go play hello kitty island 4 because your crying isn't gonna make me not want to finish off your team and end the game, especially considering my trackpad Nunu literally was able to find a way to die in every single possible way. So that my friends is what the integrity of a ranked game has turned into. Subscribe or this will be stuck in your head forever. Rav out.